Hello oh, Fireblade here. I know I just did a long gel tutorial, but this is going to be another tutorial about gel. But this one's going to be faster. Alright, so let's get a good here room down. Let's get it make it a little bit tall. That looks pretty good. Make it hollow. Oops. Make it hollow. I always do negative eight. Select it. And then I'm gonna ungroup it just for safety. Alright now and if you watched my previous video, it's going to be File, Open, Zoo Mechanics. In there, you're going to find tunnels. The, uh, the, the stuff, the goo comes out most of the time. That's just a block. A, bu a block made into a shape of that tunnel. So, you can select it, and at the bottom right, you can create a prefab of it. Right here. And then you can load it up later. Create another block. Load it up. Right there. I just made a goo head. So then you can move it around. And it's just the goo. Just the goo head. And then you can have the goo tunnel. So let's create that. Goo tunnel. Oops, I accidentally created it. So let me make that really quick. Alright, there's the goo tunnel. You don't even need to make the whole thing. It's going to go at the exact same way you created it. So let's put it there. And let's put this there. Now you're going to have to look at this. Look at it, around it, move around. Let's see it's not correct. Let's move it a little bit more. It doesn't look correct, does it? Let's move it down. That looks be about right, but the only problem is on the inside. It's all like this. I personally don't understand that either. But, that's the way it is. So if you want to create the goo, click on your entity tool at the bottom right. I'm going to create my player start right now. Right there. I'm going to give him the weapon. Type in objects, weapon, portal gun. And just place it right in front of your player. Accent create two. Now go into it and type in paint. Info paint sprayer. This is where the goo comes from. So you just uh, click it on the side and then you can move it right inside it. Now if you use the prefabs, this this one, you want to place it directly below it. See right there? I'm gonna let me click on it. Right there. You want to click directly you wanna put this right below it. Like right there. Because if you don't, the goo will pretty much collide with it and it's not going to come out. Now you want to select like where you want the goo to shoot at. Now click, I'll go on the properties, alt, control, alt enter, pitch your roll. That's going to be where you want it to shoot at. So I'm going to have it shoot straight down. See, it's not perfect, so I'm going to go like 90 and apply it. zero there 90 degrees basically gonna make it point down 90 zero zero max number of blobs this is the max number of blobs that this will shoot out if you create a tunnel that goes this way and then backwards and there's 250 blobs in there this will not create any more blobs more than 250 start active if you want this to start on click yes. In my long tutorial I used a button that created funk trigger or trigger once. Do not use trigger once, you trigger multiple. Trigger once only uses it once. Now here if you want speed, orange goo would be speed, white goo would be portal, bounce would be blue, that's what I'm gonna set this as, and then Erase would be pretty much water. Blobs per second. This is how much goo you want to come out every second. If you want a steady stream, 15 is pretty good. Min blood speed. Uh, this is alright. Uh, you set this to like 150 and it'll 
it basically when it, when it's created it sets a random value of its speed between the minimum and the maximum streak percentage this is how much it spreads pretty much like I've noticed about 15 is pretty good like if you're trying to create a sideways spread out with orange goose that you can run up it's pretty good if you noticed what one of the first orange goo ones where you had the ramp that with a button that goes up and down they're pretty much like that if you set it to none it's pretty much gonna go wherever the blob hits that's where the goo is going to be so if you want the streak percentage it's gonna continue to move out about like like is a uh, pretty much the effect of a bucket of water pour the bucket of water on a flat surface and it's not gonna go right there to the middle it's gonna spread out this is the streak dampened it's I'm not fully aware of what exactly it does but it pretty much has the same effect as uh, the streak percentage increasing it makes it go out more the minimum speed dampening while streaking it's with the streaking thing so I've kept mine at a default if I ever had any problems I would mess with the streak percentage like if it wasn't streaking too much the bobulator this is pretty much fast how fast you render it if you, if you have a lot of blobs you may want to go on fast render for low-end computers now we got the blob it comes out at a constant stream let me make sure I put that on it comes out at a constant stream perfect alright now at the top left you click on map you go to map properties now go and paint in map click on this and go to yes now your paint will work in the map you can actually go into the goose spot and jump but the only problem is now we don't have any light light is the most important part pretty much if you want this to work now go to the entity tool and type in light something I didn't explain in my previous video is how much light it produces so I'm going to put light in all four walls then we're gonna select all four of them oops you, you can select multiples by holding down your left control button or your right I don't know if it does it but I'm not going to test it holding down your left control button now here you can go to your brightness just click this brightness button it's a white bar right here the very last one is how bright 50 seems to work pretty well but as always it's going to be this white white like circle wherever you place the light at which is very bright if you put it on 200 it's going to be really bright the 50 normally if you apply your a light like a light a light pretty much a light model like a like a lamp and you put the light it's going to look different it's going to look correct okay now I'm going to go to here and click on prop static. I'm going to find me a very quick model. Now go to world model. Click on browse. Right here, you, you can search anything. Make sure you have model files selected so you can search through the entire thing. Now I'm going to type in container. Maybe that'll find something. And then you can use your arrow keys and go up and down. Um. I'm not finding anything right off the bat. Um, no, nope, maybe barrel will work. No. Nope. Bottle? Oh, well, that looks pretty good. I'm going to use that. Alright. So here's what I'm going to do. This one's going to be a little bit different. This is more going to be a little bit different. Alright, so I'm going to name this not I guess prop static. Actually, I'm going to name it prop dynamic. Prop dynamic. I'm going to name it the bottle. You know, I got to give it a name. This is part of the con the triggering effects. All right, so now I got that. So let's go back to the empty tool and create my paint sprayer. Create a paint. So as soon as I can select it, paint info sprayer. 
I'm just going to put it down here for right now. And now I'm going to select it. I'm going to move it right over top of the bottle. I'm going to give it a name. Spreader. Click apply. Now here's another thing. Blob spread radius. This is going to be completely random. It's going to go shoot and ever. The spread radius is pretty much your accuracy. Basically. This is also part of it. Accuracy. I'm going to have this spread randomly. And it's going to shoot massive amounts of goo. So I'm going to put it on 50. It's going to start off. And this is going to be erase. I'm going to put the streak percentage on 10, just to be safe, just make it have some more dynamic to it. And it's going to be really weird at the speed of... This seems to be about good. And it's going to be completely random. Actually, I'm going to increase it back to 75. No, I'm going to increase it to 100, because this is only going to go for like, mm, no, how about, I'm going to have it to be 500, no, 600, 600 blobs a second. Now, this isn't going to be bad, because I'm going to fully control it. Click on your browse for your texture, type in tool filter, click on trigger, create, something all around this bottle. This is solely for like experiencing problems. Experience. Don't forget about your prefabs. Go back to primitives and now you're going to default go back to arch. Now click on it, objects, and go to your block tool. Create your block. Now click on to entity. It's going to make it an entity. Now go to funk or trigger. Type in trigger once. Apply. Now, name it anything you want. I'm going to name it self. Go to the output tab. Add one. On start, touch. When the player touches this block, this invisible block, I'm going to go to the sprayer and start it. Fire only once. Copy paste. Then I'm going to stop it after a millisecond. So divide that 600 by 10, pretty much, and it'll spray 600 blobs in a tenth of a second. Now, I'm gonna add a on start touch, self, kill after one one second, Name, make that 1.2 then copy paste it and change it to the bottle and make this one 11 this is just make it work correctly I have a little thing about where this part will the uh just to make sure that the that it still goes off even though the things create killed basically the kill f input will make it destroy itself all right apply cancel you don't need to cancel now I'm gonna save this as gel tutorial fast now basically when that's touched it'll go boom and explode all over the place let's file run map and then don't run game after filing because I'm going to do this so if you want additional game parameters it works alright thanks for watching have fun and you will be seeing the actual gameplay right now okay here's the map you see the goo you do not see the bottle the bottle is not shown there because it's prop dynamic 
the prop stack didn't have a name that I can play it but I don't think I needed that I think I just had to type in name and then apply the name and I didn't do that but I don't know so here I'm applying some goo so that I can test the water spreading everywhere so when I walk through the water here the bottle it will pretty much explode technically it'll be invisible but the trigger and the bottle are still there so I'm going to walk through it right now you're gonna notice some lag that's because it's 60 going off for like probably once and I'm actually inside it you see it's a streak that's because you have to mess with the angles and the spread radius have fun thanks for watching